We are Jacob and Anna White. We are carpenters from Alaska. We've helped millions of people build their own furniture through our plans and website. But now, we are going beyond that. We are going to show you how to build yourself a house, tiny style. In this video series, we'll show you step by step how to go from a trailer to a beautiful finished home. Make sure you subscribe and follow along. Hey guys, Anna White here today with the next episode of our tiny house build. Last week we showed you how we DIY these base kitchen cabinets. Thank you for all your feedback on that. This week I'm going to show you how we DIY the wall shelves. Now these wall shelves were really simple to make. It was just one by twos cut up to make these braces and then I threw some one by sixes on top. So when it came time to make a decision on wall cabinets, I was really on the fence. Should I make traditional wall cabinets with doors? That way I can stuff them full of stuff and shut the doors and never see it again. Um, but ultimately I felt like since this tiny house's purpose is not daily living, it's more like weekend retreat, um, living out of it while we work at places, more like a temporary home. Um, I decided that we only needed a certain number of things in our wall shelves. So I ultimately decided to not do the closed wall cabinets because that one foot depth is just gonna make this space feel that much smaller. So I opted for open shelving. Controversial choice, I know, but I really love how it turned out. We only spent about $30 on them and it only took me a few hours to make. So here's how I made them. to believe that this was just a one by two and another one by two and another one by two just a few minutes ago. Um, I like these one by twos because they're a dollar a stick. They're actually furring strips. Um, they're not the highest grade but they have a lot of character and they're really cheap um, but they're still they're structurally just fine. So I cut them all up. This is the top. This is the back support and then this is the cross brace. I'm going to go ahead and drill pocket holes in the back of the wall piece now. in my shoulder or the back ones and I'm just going to yep so I'm gonna staple the next step is to put the board in there I'm gonna staple it I've got each and a half staple you can use nails too staple staple pole better It's made up, now I just gotta paint them and put the shelving on top and install them. After we got the, um, and the brackets made up, because all the walls are this one by material, you can just screw anywhere to it. That's one of the huge benefits of having the tongue roof walls, is you don't have to search for a stud and you got a tiny house you're hanging stuff everywhere. So it's a huge benefit. So we just took um, two inch screws and screwed right into the wall. And you can see the shelves are very, very sturdy. After we got the shelves hung, the kitchen is totally done. It's an amazing feeling to just have this space done. It looks amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. We spent um, just a couple days in total working in the kitchen and I love how it turned out. First, I'll be sharing the plans for these wall shelves on my blog, so make sure you click over and check them out. And if you do build, please share with me because I'd love to see how yours turns out as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next Friday.